Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, we're going to talk about the top five supplements that everyone should take. Now, this isn't an um, end-all, be-all for everyone, uh, but it's a good place to start if you're going to take supplements. Now, one thing about supplements is that you should cons you should look at them as though they are um, something that is in addition to a healthy, wholesome food diet. Or even if you're not eating a whole food diet, it is still, I think, important to make sure that you take some kind of supplements. Because the fact of the matter is, is that the majority of our food today is largely processed and is largely de deficient in many of the vitamins and minerals that we need for our body. So taking a supplement is a good way to make sure that you're getting the necessary nutrients each and every day to help support a healthy body. Now, probably the first and foremost um, supplement that would be great for somebody to take is fish oil. And the reason why is because fish oil contains <clears throat> two essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids meaning that they're essential. Your body can't make them. You have to get them from the food that you eat. And these would be EPA and DHA. It's very, very important because it is incorporated into the outside lipid layer of all your cells, allowing for better signaling or messaging between cells. Basically, this just means that your body will be able to burn fat stores for energy rather than relying strictly on glucose from carbohydrates. Also, insulin sensitivity improves and metabolic rate is enhanced. Um, fish oil has a very thermic effect, which triggers the body to burn more calories following digestion. There was actually a study found when men increased their fish oil intake from half a gram to three grams a day for two weeks, they increased their thermic effect by 51%. So it's pretty powerful stuff when you take fish oil. Now, you could also eat um, fish to get your fish oil. However, if you rely on fish in your diet, you need to be concerned about mercury levels. So if you're eating a lot of tuna, probably not a good idea because it's higher in mercury. On the other hand, if you're consuming mostly sardines, which are lower on the uh, food chain, they are really low in mercury. So they would be uh, probably a better um, fish to be consuming. And they are also jam-packed full of nutritional benefits, which actually I could make a video about that at another time. Um, <clears throat> another important reason why you would want to consume fish oil is because in the standard American diet, we're getting very inflammatory effects from all the processed vegetable oils that we eat, such as seed oils and vegetable oils like canola, corn, soy, and even um, an overconsumption of olive oil would, is not very good for you. However, in moderation, olive oil is good. Um, basically, when you have better um, fats in your diet, you're going to notice that you have less stress, better hormone balance, improved cognitive function, and a lower risk of degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. Because you got to remember, um, our brain is mostly made up of fat. I think it's like over 75% fat. So we literally are fat heads, and you need to get good, healthy fats in order to fuel your brain. Uh, it's very, very important, and a lot of people go on very extremely low-fat diets, which have a negative effect, I believe, on the brain. Um, <laughs> also, we want to make sure that we're getting 1 to 3 grams of EPA and DHA daily. So if you're going to get a fish oil supplement, which I'm going to put the, all the links down below in the description box, and... So that way you guys can click on that and you can go right there and purchase these. Um, <clears throat> and of course, I'm going to recommend a good brand, a good supplement, so you guys can just click on that and purchase it there. But this is very important, I feel, for pretty much everybody across the board is a good fish oil supplement. The second supplement that would be very important is a multivitamin and mineral supplement. And again, this is mostly because um, studies have shown that it's very difficult for people to get all of their nutrients 
from their food alone. So that's why a supplement is a very good addition to an already healthy diet. Um, there's many um, good points here to be made such that there's a large use of pesticides and herbicides on crops which significantly lower nutritional quality. Uh, modern day farming practices mean the production of high yield crops depletes the soil of micronutrients. Uh, prescription drug use drastically depletes nutrient levels so if you take like an oral birth control it can actually sap your body of much needed nutrients including COQ10, folic acid, magnesium, tryptophan, and tyrosine, the B vitamins, uh, vitamin C, zinc, E, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. There is many 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 other vitamins that <clears throat> can become depleted when you're taking pharmaceutical drugs. Also, chronic stress, so if you're having a very stressful um, time in your life, that can also deplete your vitamins and minerals at an accelerated rate. You can have high levels of cortisol and adrenaline, which can increase the use and excretion of vitamins such as A, C, D, E, and K. Also, the B-complex vitamins are very important for your nervous system, which are also going to be depleted during times of stress. And you're going to have minerals such as magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, chromium, selenium, zinc, and potassium which are also going to be in short supply. You know, that's the reason why a lot of women and a lot of people like to eat chocolate because it's higher in magnesium and so their body's actually craving that magnesium. Um, so there's lots of different multivitamins that you can choose from. However, I'm going to pick a very good quality multivitamin mineral. Preferably you want to go with a whole food based form of one. Um, but you want to just make sure that you cover all your bases pretty much. You want to have good active forms of these vitamins and minerals so that your body can actually absorb them so you aren't just peeing them out in the toilet. Um, so that would be the second most important would be multivitamin uh, supplement. The third which is very very important for every single person especially those that live in the northern hemisphere is vitamin D. And Vitamin D is one of the easiest ways to prevent disease promote long-term health, optimize body composition, and reduce injury and illness rate. And in fact, I take vitamin D every day. I take like 5,000 IU every single day. And it's incredibly, incredibly beneficial for you. Especially, if, again, if you live in the north in the wintertime, you're hardly ever outside, you don't get sun, you're not going to get the vitamin D that you need. And you can't really rely on vitamin D from your food alone. Um, so, it's very important that you get vitamin D. There's been tons of research on vitamin D showing that a deficiency of it can lead to a heightened risk of cancer, heart disease, cognitive decline, obesity. Um, I mean you need vitamin D for strong bones, you need vitamin D to have healthy moods. Vitamin D has been shown to prevent lots of cancers like lung, breast, and colon. Again there's so much stuff when it comes to vitamin D, it's just a powerhouse uh, nutrient. And probably supplementing between 2,000 and 5,000 IU of vitamin D3, which is the most absorbed form in the body. Vitamin D3, 2,000 to 5,000 IU would be good in order to achieve a blood value between 50 and 80 NG uh, slash ML. So you want to make sure that you get your vitamin D levels up if they are low. The only way you know if they're low is um, getting a blood test done. However, if you have like, symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, like depression, um, that may be a sign too that you might be deficient, or if you have weak bones. Uh, the number fourth most important supplement that you should probably be taking is magnesium. Uh, it affects more than over 300 processes in your body, which is why it can feel like your health and life are falling apart if you don't have enough of it. It is very, very important. And because of changes in the soil quality and our food and changes in our diet, it can become deficient quite rapidly. Um, <clears throat> There's been a gradual decline of dietary magnesium from a high of 500 milligrams a day in 1900 to barely 225 milligrams today, which is well below the U.S. RDA. Uh, magnesium 
is one of those things that has a calming effect on the nervous system, making it critical for stress management and restful sleep. So if you're finding that you're stressed and you can't sleep, it's probably your magnesium. It also is important for serotonin, which is the brain chemical that elevates your mood, is also dependent on, ser or on magnesium. Most antidepressant drugs try to improve serotonin levels, but getting your magnesium up is natural and maybe just as effective since it solves multiple problems at once. Um, <clears throat> lack of magnesium sends your nervous system into overdrive, which can also lead to high blood pressure and it can overwhelm you with lots of stress. So magnesium is definitely what you want to be considering and you would want to try to hit 4th to 1200 milligrams of that a day. You also want to make sure you get a good high quality supplement and again I'm going to provide a link for that down below in the description box. You want to avoid cheap magnesium chelates like magnesium oxide because it can over relax the bowel which can lead to going to the bathroom which I don't think many of you guys want to have. Um, there's Lots of magnesiums that are good, like citrate, malate, glycinate. Uh, there's lots of different forms, but um, I think there's one brand, actually, Calm Mag or something like that. I don't know. I've taken it before, but it's actually really good. And finally, guys, the last and most important supplement probably that you would want to consider taking is probiotics, which basically make up the microbiota in your gut. That's what the bacteria that live in your gut. There's hundreds billions, trillions of bacteria there and they're very, very important. Um, you want to have a good healthy balance of probiotics in your gut. They're going to help support your fat loss, they're going to help support detoxification and so any really good um, probiotic supplement is going to be absolutely great for you guys. So these are the five supplements that you should consider taking. Um, again, these are just five, there's probably a lot more um, that are important, but I would say that those five are probably some of the most important to take and will cover a lot of your bases. Um, once you've got wanting to get into like specific things or specific things that you're trying to do for yourself, then you're going to target like maybe vitamin C or MSM, different things like that. But if you guys like this video, please make sure that you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to have a video each and every day. Um, also, don't forget to check out all my other YouTube channels like ADK Movie Reviews, ADK Game.